Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. So this is the first vlog of us in the Adria Matrix motorhome. This is the motorhome, if you watch the We're Back vlog, that John at Cara Motorhomes has kindly provided us with on a long-term loan. So the idea is we are going to get out and about, uh, create a variety of content with it, loads of trips, loads of fish and chips and ice cream and really bad food that you just should not be eating, but I'm going to do it. So, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and hopefully it'll be of some use. I've got a variety of content as well around some motorhome security. We're going to go to a Weybridge, that, that'll be interesting. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, and yeah, I've got a lot of trips booked to various locations. So hopefully you'll enjoy coming along with me. Some of them I'm going to do by myself. So it will just be you and me. Um, hopefully we'll have a good time, if nothing else. Um, so yeah, so this is our first maiden voyage. We have packed the motorhome with all the bits, all our motorhoming stuff that we still had. Um, I don't think there's anything exciting to tell you in that respect, but yeah, we're, we're just ready to go. So we're going to go for our maiden voyage to Barnard Castle, made famous by Dominic Cummings. Yes, Barnard Castle got well and truly put on the map for all the wrong reasons. Um, I've never been before, there's a castle that's why it's called Barnard Castle and that is about as much as I know um, it's in the north of England it's about an hour an hour and a quarter from home the route we're going to take is literally up the A1 and then we'll be coming off on the A66 and that'll take us almost to Barnard there'll just be a, a cut through that we're going to take on a B road um, we're going to stay at the sorry I'm sniffling because it, it's cold in today it's cold uh, it's cold in the motorhome so we're going to take um, we're going to take that route and we're stopping at the camping and caravanning club site at Barnard Castle. Um, that site has 90 pitches, a mixture of hard standing with electric, grass with electric, grass without. You can stay there in your caravan, camper van, motorhome, trailer tent, tent, you name it. It's friendly and it's welcoming. So that's where we're stopping. We're staying for two nights. So the plan is to get up there, stay tonight, go and forage for something to eat. Um, in Barnard Castle. You can walk literally from the site through a wood and you pop out in the town so it's walkable. So if you've got a motorhome like us and you're worried about where to park it and there's no worry around parking um, you can walk from the site. Um, I think it might be a 10 minute walk. I had a look on Google Maps but I'll tell you when when we get there we'll know all about it won't we? I'll do the walk with you. That'll be exciting. Start our engines, wagons roll, um, we'll get a bit of the journey all being well into um, Barnard Castle club site so you can see the, the approach. It looks very accessible but I'll tell you more if it isn't as we get up there. And then we'll have a, a nice bank holiday weekend together because it's actually the bank holiday, the first bank holiday in May as I speak. So yeah, hopefully you've all been out enjoying yourselves. Okay, come on, let's hit the road. So that was our journey to Barnard Castle Camping Caravanning Club site. Really nice trip straight up the A1 on the A660 and then on that B road that um, that I took. Arrived at site at 10 to 1. There's three people ahead of me um, and we're all just about to start getting booked in. It looks a really nice site. That approach lane was lovely. New tarmac, loads of passing places. This is accessible no matter what size your unit. Um, we did stop at the Weybridge um, on the way. That was that was really interesting. Not in a bad way, but really interesting. There'll be a vlog of that coming after this vlog. So if you're interested in how much your motorhome may or may not weigh and how to weigh it, watch that. That was really good. So what I'm going to do is get checked in, find our hard standing pitch. We've currently got no water on board, so we're going to go to the water point get probably um, just enough water to get us through. Literally, we're only here for two nights. I, I don't like to waste water, so it'll literally just be, um, I don't know, maybe maybe 50 litres for now. So that is that. I will see you as we do those bits. So we've, um, we've checked in. Uh, the wardens are really friendly here. And to be fair, this site is beautiful. It's really well kept. The wardens looked really smart. Not that they don't elsewhere, but there was a real pride here. Um, they took us to um, a hard standing pitch. We're on pitch 42. Um, looks very nice. I'll show you that when we get over there. We're going nose in as usual because our door's on the right hand side with it being um, a European motorhome. 
Jules, I've got, see, I've got a, he's here somewhere. I've got an able and willing assistant on this trip. Um, so Jules is currently assisting with the water um, at the motorhome service point. I'll just show you that. So the motorhome service point, if you are coming with the motorhome, is a really good size. They've got a good size grate. Uh, the taps are there. Jules is just bobbing on our uh, hose pipe. The site itself, so I've come from that way. That's the reception building just there. And as you can see, it's all really nicely uh, tarmacked. The grass is absolutely immaculate. I've never seen anything like it. Um, there's grass and hard standing. They've got some of the ready camps just down there. So if you wanted to come with someone who didn't have a caravan, motorhome or tent, they could stay in there. This is the service block that's near our pitch. Um, really good size, nice stone building. So there we go. Um, the site is full this weekend because it is a bank holiday. Once we get on the pitch, um, I'll show you that. Um, and we'll go from there. The walk, oh, the walk apparently um, runs from where our pitch is going to be over there down towards a farm. Um, and it apparently could take up to half an hour to walk. So we'll time it and let you know. Um, Jules, as I say, is just putting some, some water in. Um, and then we'll do that. So we'll catch you in a bit. So I'm on the pitch. I'll show you my pitch. Not that you're interested, but to be fair, these, these are really nice pitches. Let me put you this way. So that's our matrix on our pitch. So we are seven and a half meters long. Um, and you can see we've got plenty of room there and I'm quite a long way from the front. I've told you before that um, we go nose in and we go nose in because our door's on the right hand side. So it just means we're stepping out onto the right side like you would be if yours is on the left. Um, so that's why we do that. Leveling, I just, um, as you can see, normally we use the leveling ramps, but on this pitch, um, it, it's got a little bit of a slope running upwards. So we haven't even had to, um, to level us. I've got a little, <laughs> a little helper. I can do all this myself because you know, because you've seen me do it, but Jules is with me. Um, so he, we've got water and now he's, and now he's doing the electric as well. Bless him. You're, do you want to say something? I know Jules doesn't say much, but... Do you... Happy holidays, we're here. <laughs> yeah, we, we are really, really excited. We might not look it, but no, we do look yeah, it. We are. Absolutely. We are. We're really pleased. The motorhome is fantastic. We could not be happier. Um, we've got as well i don't know if you can see we have sorted out some extra security you may remember before we had the maypole steering wheel lock um we've got another one because that is um a decent bit of security and it's a visual deterrent so we've got that on it um oh i'll tell you what i've got as well look at this i'm going to hopefully get a review done but i've got an electric step i know I know you might not be excited by the sight of my electric step, but you know when you've always wanted a caravan or a motorhome or a camper, and you've always dreamt of having certain things on it? Well, an electric step was always something I really wanted, um, and this one's got one, so I'm, um, I'm made up. The other thing I always wanted was, you see the um, awning up there, the uh, wind-out canopy? I have always wanted an electric uh, canopy, and guess what? Yeah, I've not got one yet. So maybe, maybe uh, sometime in the future. There we go. So we're on the pitch. We're nice and level without the ramps. Um, we're just doing setup mode. We've got the electric on. We're just going to pull the water through now for the first time, aren't we? Because um, we've we've obviously not done anything since we picked the matrix up, um, apart from go to a weighbridge. So we're going to pull the water through, um, and then we're going to walk have down. Have some lunch. Have some lunch. Oh my I'm god, starving. yeah, I've got to turn the fridge on. I haven't turned the fridge on. Oh, and the gas. Yes, we've got quite a bit to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm too busy talking, aren't I? Um, let's get some lunch. Let's get the water pulled through. I'll do that. We'll get the gas on. And then we're going to walk down to Barnard Castle. Fish and chips. Fish and chips today. So um, there's, there's two fish and chip shops in Barnard Castle. There's also a milkshake place that I want to try. Um, but I'll show you more about Barnard when we get down there. It's a busy little town. There's loads of shops. There's loads of pubs. There's loads of places to eat. So we should see loads of stuff while we're here over these next couple of days. Um, but I'll catch up with you in a little bit once we're ready to, 
to wander down um, via this um, footpath from the site. So um, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. So it's time for a walk. I've sat out on the pitch. The sun came out. I can't believe it. It's a bank holiday weekend and the sun came out. It was really warm. I've probably got pink little cheeks. So what we're going to do, the Camping Caravanning Club site is behind me and I've come out of the gate and literally, I'll just show you. So I've, I've come out of the gate and I'm just going to turn to my left and go down here. This is the, this is pointing into the sky. That's the footpath and that footpath should take us down to Barnard Castle. As I say, within about half an hour, we'll time it. Should we time it? And then we'll see how long it... No, it's half four. It's half four now, so we're setting off. When we get down to Barnard Castle, we're going today. I don't know how much I'll show you today and how much I'll show you tomorrow, but the plan is to get some food because we're hungry. Um, I'm. What are you wanting? I, I, I think I'm going to go do fish and chips. No, I'll have a look. We're going, to, and chips, then. we're going to have a look. It could be a chip shop today, but we'll um, we'll see you when we get down there. So this is the the footpath. There's some horses coming up because there is an equestrian centre down here. And just to say, we are literally over. Oh, sorry, Jules. Literally over this fence. Oh yeah. That is we're a bit further our pitch. down, but our pitch is just over that fence. Yeah, so it starts off as like a bit of a proper road and then it apparently becomes a bit more of a track through a field maybe. And then into a wood. And then into a wood and then we should pop out literally at Barnard. <laughs> and if we don't, then I've got totally lost. And you'll never and, see this video. And you'll never see this video because it'll be a disaster, <laughs> but yeah. So there we go, we're on our way. So we're making good progress on our little trip. We're probably... I think we're nearly 10 minutes in. Will you be able to tell exactly because you look at you can look at your watch. Yeah. <laughs> so we're 10 minutes in. Okay, so we're just walking through the equestrian part. The horses I know do give it away, but this is the equestrian part. So this has become it's still a track, um, but it's a little bit sort of gravelly, um, and it looks like it's a little bit grassy down there. There. Those are the trees that we're heading into, I believe, um, to get us down into Barnard Castle itself. So this is the rest of the route as we go. So we'll catch up a little bit further down this track. So we've made it to the bit where we enter the wood. There's a nice little sign here. It just says, Woodland Walk to Barnard Castle, Deepdale Nature Reserve. So this is part of the Deepdale Nature Reserve. And we can see here into the wood. We're making good time. Obviously we've kept stopping to have a look at some different bits. I'm not making excuses. You know, we are, we are powering on. Um, so you've got like a little information board and this is the woodland track. Um, you're not allowed to cycle on here as far as I know, although I can see what looks like bike tracks through it and hoof marks and all sorts. Um, so this is the footpath down. It gets a little bit muddy and stony here. I guess it depends on what time of year you come and what the weather's been like as to how sort of wet this path's going to be. In summer it will be very, very dry, um, but we can see it heads off just down through these trees. So at least you've seen that. So that's the walk down if you're staying at the camping and caravanning club site. Right. I've got to say, I'll... I think going down is going to be easier than yeah. coming back up. With a, yeah, we're going to be walking back up and like... Be with a full tummy. With a full tummy of fish and chips. I'm going to have such... I'm going to have like really bad indigestion, aren't I, at this rate? Anyway, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it for you guys. It's not about myself. So yes, I've got a red little snout. Okay, so um, we'll catch you when we pop out, which I think, I think that should almost be like literally there. Anyway, we'll find out. So I'll see you in a little bit. So it's taken us exactly half an hour to get to the end of the wood. We're not quite into Barnard Castle yet. We're literally... And we've been stopping to take photos. Oh yeah, we've, ta oh, <laughs> we've, we've stopped for how, what, five minutes at least? A good, a good five minutes. A good five minutes we've written off doing that. So this is basically the end of the woodland trail. So what I'll show you now is when you come to this little gate here, you can just walk around to the left, but I want to go through the gate. I just feel like I need to do that. So let's open this. Right, so we've done that and we've come out. Now, there's, from what I can gather on my, um, on my map, there's two options. This over here, straight opposite us, 
This is actually called Silver Bridge and we'll, we're actually going to go on that way and I'll show you. But if you were to turn right and follow that footpath there, that is still going to take you into Barnard Castle, but it's going to take you a bit lower down. So the way we're going to go is over Silver Bridge. Just let that camper go past. The actual castle itself is actually somewhere over there right now. So what we'll do, we'll get across the road and we'll go and have a look. So it is clear. So let's do it. So we'll take, we're going to take this way. If you're wanting to do this walk from the site, it's really nice. We've enjoyed that walk, haven't we? Yeah, it's Jules? been really good. It's really nice. It's very tranquil. It's through a wood. It smells of wild garlic and there's loads of ducks. So we'll head up here. You're not allowed to cycle uh, over the bridge, but you can push your bike over. So here we go. Now this, as I say, is Silver Bridge and this is over the river. And this is really scenic as well. So you can see upstream and downstream. And from here, this is the weir, Barnard Castle weir. And that just there is the actual castle. Now we'll be going to have a look at that tomorrow. So don't get too excited right now. Um, I'm going to carry on that way into Barnard Castle and literally we're going to get some tea. So it's going to be fish and chips. There's two fish and chip shops. I don't know which one I'm going to try yet, but they both get good reviews. So I'll let you know when we get up there. So we've reached the top of the footpath and it literally brings us out at Barnard Castle. I'm going to tell you all about the castle tomorrow and we'll have a, a look around. So that's tomorrow. Um, so you can see where we've come. The footpath brings us out. Town centre is literally here. The shops will go up that way and across that way as well. So I can, I can actually smell fish and chips. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, trot up into town, um, have a look at the shops here. So in Barnard itself, um, there's say fish shops, several of the takeaways. There's quite a few pubs that I saw when I did a bit of research. There's some cafes, there's a milkshake place. Um, what else is there? Just normal shops really. Um, there's a Roman picnic site at the castle. I'll turn you around again and then you can just see the town as we head up into it. So it's quite a big, big town. I will admit, I don't know loads about it. I always find these places are just good to come and have a look. So there we go. We're sort of in the corner of it now, as we can see. And as I say, it goes up there and down that way. So. The, ch the two fish and chip shops, there's one down there and there's one up there. I'm going to try the one up there today, I think. I'll give that a go, I'll let you know if that's any good. And then we'll eat those and literally walk back. And that'll be our night tonight, quiet night on the pitch. Uh, first night in the Matrix. Tomorrow, I won't do the whole walk through the wood with you because that'll bore you to tears. So tomorrow, um, we'll actually just start down at the castle and go from there. Right, should we go get some tea, Jules? We're off to get some tea. Okay, so I went to the chip shop. It's called 149 Fish and Chips. It gets really good reviews on Google, so let's give them a go. I just got fish and chips and a sausage. Not, not exciting. So I got them in a bag. There's the bag. Here's forks and napkins. Thank you, Jules. I think that's a sausage. Can I just hold your sausage? <laughs> that sounds wrong. Thank you. And here are the fish and chips. Oh. They look pretty good. They look amazing. So I'm going to dive into these. Hopefully they'll be really good. And then we're going to walk back up to the motorhome and call it a draw for tonight. So I'll tell you all about these tomorrow once I've eaten them. Morning. We got back to site after the fish and chips. The fish and chips, well, you see- They were good. They were amazing. I, when I was eating them, I was like, well, I'm going to give them a nine. And then afterwards I said, well, I don't really know how they could have been any better, so I think they ended up. I said on a... beef dripping. That'd be oh, the only way yeah. to get the it. The only better. way would have been beef dripping, but otherwise, they were a 10. 100% recommend them. If you're at Barnard Castle, uh, 149 Fish and Chips, amazing. Um, yeah, we were, we were amazed. And then we walked back and we didn't get indigestion. We walked back um, and we had a really nice night, didn't we? We watched telly, um, early bed, rained, rained a bit in the night, as you can see. 
Um, but yeah, we had a really nice chilled out night. Um, the site was really quiet and then woke up, we've had some breakfast um, and it's been a bit drizzly, but I think it's stopped. So our plan now is to trot down to Barnard again and have a look at the castle and then get a coffee and some lunch and and then have a steady afternoon. So we will see you next actually down at the castle. So we'll see you at the castle. I'm back down at Barnard Castle, as I said I would. Now this is an English heritage site. So if you are a member, obviously you can check it out for nothing. If not, it's seven pounds and 70 pence for an adult. I won't be paying to go in. Um, only because I'm not that interested in walking around the inside of the castle for uh, £15 for two of us because I'm just not if I'm honest. However, um, I'll show you around and if you wonder what that weird noise is, as usual, when I go somewhere there's something weird happening which today is Morris dancing. Yes, I love a bit of Morris dancing. I've left Jules, he's um, there somewhere. He's watching it. Uh, <laughs> he's always wanted to be a Morris dancer. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He hasn't really. If you like, if you like the biggest Morris dancer I'd ever seen, he'd be more like a Morris prancer. Anyway, I've chuckled myself there. So let's get back to the castle because um, I've digressed. The entrance is here. There's a sign there. It says Barnard Castle. The castle. They started building it in the um, I think it was about 1095, somewhere like that. It was the 11th century that they started building the castle. Um, and as you can see now, it's a complete ruin because unfortunately that is what happened to a lot of castles. I do, I do actually really like castles. I've been to Corfe Castle, I've been down to Tintagel, I've been to Skipton Castle um, and I do, I do quite like them. So if you were to walk, there is a path and that path is down there and then you can walk around the castle, around the exterior itself. Obviously if you want to go in, you can literally pay and go in there and see it properly. So that, that is as exciting um, as, as I'm getting to Barnard Castle, as, uh, as you can see. But you can, as, you can come out, if you were either to follow this path or when, yesterday when I showed you how to cross the road, if we'd have turned right there, it would have brought us down the bottom end of that castle, so you could have got a much better view of it. Um, so that's it. I'm, I'm going to go watch some Morris dancing. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Costa and go get a coffee there. Then I'm going to find a cafe to get some lunch um, and have a further trot round and then walk back up to the motorhome. And I'll see you back up there. I'll go reunite myself with Jules. Look how excited he is. Let's go see what he's up to. Are you going to join in, Jules? I've just it's nice watching some of the old traditions. What what have you learnt from watching the old traditions? Uh, I'm ready for a costa. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so there we go. They'll be practicing for May Day, won't they? Because it'll be yeah. around the May pole. Yeah, anyway, right. we'll catch you in a little bit. We gave up on Costa and we came to Mad Hatter's tea room. And we got Blondie thing. <laughs> Jules is excited and I've got hot cookie dough with ice cream and we've got a latte and a tea. This place is epic so absolutely try the Mad Hatter's tea room. <laughs> So we didn't get much further. We went to the tea room and then um, we ended up in a butcher's. It's McFarlane Family Butchers. I've taken some pictures inside, so I'll just show you those now. Hopefully you'll be seeing them. Um, I got a sausage roll, Jules got, what did you get? Pork. I got a uh, apple, Bramley apple uh, pork pie. I'm glad you know, and some bacon. So we've tried the butchers. A lot of smell of bacon on the site, so I had to yeah. get some. <laughs> it's drawn us in. So that is, that is Barnard Castle now. We're going to venture back up to the site uh, and wrap it up for today. And there we have it. That was our first trip in the motorhome 
the matrix that we've got um couldn't have gone any better we've had a brilliant time all right so glad to be back yeah it's, right, it's brilliant yeah we've really missed it it's been what 18 months since we were properly too long motorhoming yeah. 18 Absolutely. months i reckon um yeah it'll be about that yeah brilliant time barnard castle uh camping caravan and club site fantastic fantastic highly recommend really recommend this yeah, we're going to come back aren't we yeah. we said without because a shadow of a doubt what's been really nice is not only is the site really nice but just being able to walk this sort of half hour trail through the and it's beautiful isn't it there's horses there's sheep there's lambs there's well obviously there won't be at certain times of the year but there is right now there's um, you know, it's lovely. Then you get through the woods, there's the river, there's loads of walks down there to do as well, isn't there? The riverside. Hoping to get back here with some bikes and get yeah. a little bit further afield. Get off on some bikes. Um, but yeah, we've, we've really enjoyed it. The motorhome, everything seems absolutely perfect. We cannot wait. We're going away next weekend, aren't we? We've got loads booked. We are properly going for it. Um, we're going away next weekend, which is the coronation weekend. So I'm sure loads of you will, will have trips as well. Um, and then we've got, uh, oh, I've got, I've got loads books in. Oh, we're going to a site in Derbyshire that's got an ice cream factory as well. Um, so that's on the list. So I love it the way you look at me as if I know where we're yeah, going. Yeah, Jules hasn't no got idea. a clue until we turn up somewhere. So yeah, we've got that booked in. And then we're doing the East Coast as well, um, around uh, Scarborough and Filey. See, you find um, out when I do. Yeah, so got got loads booked in. But we'll we'll uh, we'll finish there. I think that's about it. Coming up after this vlog is the Weybridge vlog, all being well if it all falls into place. So the next vlog will be us taking this motorhome to the Weybridge, which is interesting, uh, an interesting vlog. So please do watch that one. I'd just like to say a massive thank you. I'm not going to keep thanking John at Cara in every vlog because it's going to get a little bit boring. But because this is our first trip out, I just want to say a massive thank you to John at Cara Motorhomes. The motorhome is fantastic. We are very grateful for the opportunity, 100%. I can't say thank you enough. Um, and thank you as well to Scorpion Automotive, who sorted us out a security system because to insure the motorhome, we've insured the motorhome. We've gone with Caravan Guard again. We've always used Caravan Guard, um, gone with them again. Um, but we needed, <clears throat> we needed uh, a new security system because of the value of the motorhome. So Scorpion, uh, through John have fitted that system and we'll do a vlog about that because interestingly enough before we had the phantom system which is now moving intelligence and so we can compare it to this system and you're impressed aren't you I'm very impressed Jules, with, and, <laughs> with the integration of the app yeah. Jules is really impressed. gives you a lot of information yeah maybe, oh, maybe more than you probably maybe want maybe more information than yeah. you might want but we'll yeah go through that a bit it's later really on. interesting so so we think we'll do a a vlog on that as well. Well, we'll probably combine that because we've also got the Maypole lock as well for a little bit of additional security, which was mentioned a little bit earlier yeah. in this video. So that's more of a visual so, yeah. thing as well, isn't it? So yeah. yeah so absolutely. thank you to John and thank you to Scorpion Automotive and the Camping and Caravanning Club for and having the, us. Yeah, for letting us wander around with the camera because we we do appreciate it when sites do let us sort of wander around. We we don't like to invade people's privacy. We don't do that. Um, so you won't see us in the showers filming you. That's just totally weird. Um, but yeah, so thanks for yeah the wardens letting us do our bits of um, filming and taking random photos. There we go. Brilliant, brilliant time. Yeah. So we've got tonight, and then we're heading home tomorrow. So we're going to we're going to chill out, and uh, and that'll be it. So as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching and, and we'll, we'll see, see you in, in the, the next one. one.